and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, we are heading to Vic through Victory Road, dare I say, which is very exciting. We have caught the legendary uh, Curlia. I guess we preserved the Master Ball, which is always excellent as well, uh, because now, now if we run into something crazy, which we still could, because uh, we have plenty of opportunity. I mean, who knows? On Victory Road, we could run into something. Um, it could happen. We can Master Ball any first legendary we catch at this point. We have we have options, is what I'm saying. Plus, we have the entire Kanto region. So, um, many opportunities to catch something still. Although, it really doesn't even matter at this point. What could possibly, what could possibly, am I right? I mean, look at this team. It is insane. We've got the best Pokemon, like, stats-wise that we could hope for with <laughs> Ace the Arceus, who is, I just noticing, modest in nature. So, what a, what a humble god uh, <laughs> this is. Uh, Rock of the Dragon Peg. Uh, just, that's so, so excellent. I mean, we can't, we couldn't have hoped for a better Pokemon, like, literally. So... There's that. That's good news. Doesn't mean we wouldn't accept more help, but I mean, we have Ice, who has a literal cannon for an arm. We have... This gets me every time. The fart. I cannot believe we have... <laughs> we have Noel, the Scud Tank. We've got Rutana. Oh, likes to run. I don't know about that. I haven't observed that. Uh, at the moment, we're at least going to be keeping Nora on the team, uh, at least to get to Victory Road, because we need a waterfall user, which actually, I th come to think of it, yeah, we're going to have to get rid of Safeguard. Poor Nora. It's just become the total HM slave on the team, which is such a bummer. But then we've also got Kimberly. Uh, the Salamence. The Salamence. And I have to tell you, nothing has brought the team together more than the presence of Ace the God. I mean, we have been plagued for so long, for the entire journey, by Art, by Dialga and Palkia, and I, I wondered because typically they're part of like a trio with Arceus, and yet they were attacking us. And I wondered, was Arce it, it occurred to me that it must perhaps Arceus was the enemy, but obviously Arceus has come to defend us against such treachery, which means to me uh, the real enemy is probably uh, Giratina in some way, right? Uh, sort of Arceus's exact opposite. So there's that. Uh, also, I love, <laughs> I was just watching it. I love that Arce the Ace here has Surf. Uh, do, be sh be, to be sure, that crazy wavy, uh, like, you know, spike off the back of his head, not a spike, totally hair, windswept hair from all the surfing. Don't be fooled, that's what's happening. Ace, god of surfing. Oh my gosh. Uh, so we have to keep Nora on at the moment. We may as well go ahead and give Nora a waterfall. Sorry. I mean, someone also pointed out Nora is the second uh, shiny Pokemon I've had use Flash. Like, uh, Siru, the Dustox, the shiny beacon of hope. Or we could give it to Ace! No. Um, had Flash and used it magnificently in an Elite Four battle. If I recall, caused Cynthia's Garchomp to miss a Dragon Rush and won us the game. I believe that's what happened. Did I? Did that go? I feel like did I accidentally hit no? Oh yeah, look at that. One, two, three, four. Utility Pokemon. Yes, let's go, Nora. Let's go. All right, what do you think, Ace? Are you ready? Should we head out? Ace looks very happy as well. They should. We're gonna we're gonna go there. Dun dun ba dum. You know, I mean, it. You might think, why maybe lead with someone else? But like, I mean, Ace is the lowest level. You know, we got to. It's you know, it feels like we should. We're gonna get Plant back. Don't worry, we're gonna get Plant back. But at the moment, we also have Kimberly sort of covering that ground, and Ace has an Earth moves or ground moves. So at the moment, we're just keeping Nora here solely um, for HM purposes. And in fact, we're going to head back to here. Hurrah! Here we go. We actually now, if you recall, we've already caught something in this water. So we are not going to be catching anything. Oh! Watch it be a Flygon! Nope, it's a Caterpie. That'd have been hilarious. Oh, I'm so sorry, Caterpie. Um, 
you're gonna have to die. Yeah. See you later. All right. Oh, the Alga. We are near New Bark Town. This is Sneasel. This is what we actually caught in this water, I believe, right? Uh, let's give it the old earth power to death. Yep, sorry, there we go. And we're back. Arceus did a little earth correction. Everything is fine. We are here. Oh, God. hey, hey. Do you know what you just did? You've taken your first step into Kanto. Check your poker game map and see. That's all right, I'm not gonna do that. Um, what's in here? Toho Falls, excellent. Now this isn't, we've already been on the new route though, right? Yeah, so we're already on the route. Um, do we have to go into Toho Falls? Can I surf? I'm gonna surf down here first. Let's go, come on, Ace. We're surfing, surfing, surfing. Oh yeah, free item, a rare candy. Now that is my kind of item, folks. Surfing, surfing, oh yeah, what you want? A Typhlosion, well that is just a magnificent Pokemon right there. We're gonna go ahead and surf it to death right there. You, we're surfing and we're surfing, we're double surfing. We're getting that windswept hair, you want it, you love it. Oh man, it means we could have caught Typhlosion instead of Sneasel at one point. Not that we need it, because we already have um, Ice, who has a little cannon for an arm, as our fire-type Pokemon. So Toho Falls, here we are. Okay, this is, a, this is a new area. So we can catch something in here, right? And as such, I am in fact going to lead with Kimberly then, because I want to get the Intimidate on and the possible Dragon's Breath as well for the Paralysis. Let's see if and what we catch though, right? Let's go, Nora, you serve. Toho Falls. Yeah, let's waterfall it, dude. Go, Nora, right into the rocks. Fantastic, no Pokemon. Okay, this is a, this is a catch. This is a potential catch. What's it gonna be? <gasps> a Roselia. We've had many a Roselia on this team, haven't we? Um, let's see. So gosh, it's kind of a low level, unfortunately. Let's see, um, who could we, who could we, who could we? Almost everyone is just gonna wreck this thing. I can't even poison it. I was gonna say, maybe I can just poison it and just sort of like throw Pokeballs and hope. Uh, Nora would actually be sort of we. Let me see, what do you have? Uh, we could try and like confuse it, I suppose. What if we just, what if we just throw an Ultra Ball at it? C don't act, we can actually throw a Dusk Ball at it. Maybe that'll work because we are in a cave. This could work, right? We've had so many good Roselias over the years. We've had Hamilton, we've had Moirin. Fantastic Pokemon. Look at that one ball, it's caught. We need a name. Sequoia, Sequoia, the Roselia, heading to the box. Oh, we're into the hero, even. My goodness. Wait, we have to, is that it? We just had to go right there? That's the whole thing? All right, Toho Falls done. Back to Route 27. Oh, is this a fight? I does not expect that. That person's like waiting to jump. It's rare to see anyone come here. Are you training on your own? I mean, if by on your own, I mean, I'm being assisted by God, if that's what you mean. Um, so there's that, you know. Let's go ahead and just, this thing, I don't think these things, despite their name, I don't think they have explosion. I think they're just very like sort of powerful normal type users. Uh, let's just go with the dragon's breath though. Maybe we'll get the paralysis or maybe we'll get, oh, the howl. Okay, so it's going down because we just dragon breathed it. Yeah, for over half. Kimberly gets the level up to Fody. What? And a Rampardos. Oh gosh, this thing is. Oh, it's so scary. Oh, geez. Um, 32. Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Part of me wants to bring in Ace. I'm almost afraid to bring in even Ace on this thing. Uh, we, mm -mm. This thing's attack stat is so big. Let's see, who has the highest defense? Let's see that real quick. Your defense is 95, 72, 63, 81. But you could be hit by rock moves, which would be bad. Ace is definitely still the highest. 90, oh, Rutana has really high defense as well. And full immunity to ground type moves. That seems like it's probably the way to go. 
we'll just, yeah. <laughs> no, Nora has a t Nora could fight this thing. Let's be real. It's level 31 and has all of the... <laughs> um, it just, I just don't think Nora could take the hit is the problem. Let's go to Rutana here. Scary face. I don't like that. Not one bit. Um, I'm going to go with the confusion, I think. Oh, it has it has a dark type move. Of course it does. We do. It didn't actually do that much damage. I think we can just take it with a confusion here. Yeah. Even a crit. Yeah. There we go. We got around it. Oh my gosh. Rampardos is one scary opponent. And a C-Dot. Well, let's just U-turn on that bad boy. Yeah, he's dead. Sorry about that. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Well, I... The thing about Rampardos is that it's... If you can... Is that it's it's really fast and there's really high attack. And it's like... it almost, Even if you have the type advantage on it, it doesn't mean it can't just wreck you. It's very scary in that regard. Lady. The Pokemon League? Are you a Pokemon loyal enough for you? Let me see. Ah, it's nice to see you. A gift! Well, thank you very much, GM37. Sandstorm. Okay, well... We at one time were considering the Sandstorm team, but um, not so much anymore. Because, uh, we, you know, things, things have happened. We, it's not impossible, but... Oh, we're actually, we're not even using Ace now. We're using Nora to serve. Nora's like, let me flex my fins, yo. Let me flex them fins. I guess we're going to fight this guy. He's, he, he, you look pretty strong. Let me bow to you. Bring it, dude. We're gonna have lots of battles today, I, I assume. All right, this is gonna be no problem, though. We're just gonna fly. We fly up high, we bring death from the sky. There it is, Kimberly for the Wimberly. Slack off, okay, very not afraid of this thing. We're just gonna give it the old dragon breath. Just breathe on him, man. We just breathe on that guy and he falls over. He is dead to us. And the Ledian, also, we're just gonna, um, we're gonna give this, mm, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna give it the old fly as well. We fly high, we bring death from the sky. There it is, boom. Just like that, easy victory, no problem. What's this gonna be? Oh, Monferno! We actually um, already have a Chimchar. Not that it matters. Oh, this guy wants to fight? You wants to fight? Oh, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Did I get on the wrong line? Hey. Come here. <laughs> You're good, aren't you? Well, I mean, like, yeah. For sure. A Vulpix! I do love Vulpix, there's no doubt. Um, it's, but I also love uh, breathing on people with this dragon. Oh, you have, you can breathe stuff out of- oh, you burned me. I'm not- I'm not a fan. I'm gonna give you the old strength and you're dead and it's just like that and then, um... Do you see how strong that Vulpix was though? That was with a- do we have a burn heal? Maybe? Maybe not? It's annoying. Uh, do we, am I, I, yeah, full heal, that'll work. Can't be having my Kimberly. Uh, we could probably just super potion this damage off, right? Gotta be careful with these, uh, ace trainers. They can be tough. And I'm fairly certain that before we're allowed to leave Victory Road, we're gonna have to fight Celery one more again. So we need to be fairly aware of that. Destiny not, that's sneaky. That looks like something uh, we can let Nora whirlpool herself over. Let's fight this guy first. Yeah, don't say anything. Let me guess what you're thinking. Mm, I got it. You're on the Pokemon League challenge. I mean, it's, I mean that's true. It's not really what I was thinking. What I was thinking was, I wonder what we get if we can whirlpool that thing. A Swablu. What I'm thinking now is breathe on it. Oh, it's shrouded in mist. I don't even know what that's supposed to do. Let's get it with the strength. Let's really just conserve um, PP. Oh, a Venusaur. Okay, so we still um, have tremendous advantage on this thing because we resist it and it's weak to uh, um, flying type attacks. We fly high. We bring death from the sky, just like that. Every single time, boom, we're going to get that next. Oh, a Manaphy. That's fun. Um, it's fun for us because we resist water. So we're just going to Dragon Breath it. We breathe on it. It's paralyzed. We're confused. I don't like that. So, no reason to be uh, more risky than ever. Um, let's go to, yeah, no, because if they use psychic type attacks, we just uh, laugh them off. 
and we heal that back. No problem. We headbutt. Oh, more confusion. How dare you? If that's how you want to play it, I will bring. I will go right back into my big scary dragon. Bubble beam. Yeah, we laugh that off. We laugh it off. We strength. We win. And Noelle claims her first victim of the day as well. We're going to surf on Nora. We're going to see what's across this because... It feels like if they're going to put this here, there better be something really good on the other side, right? Like, what's over? What? Oh, I I feel so cheated by that. It's just a way to not walk up there? Oh, that is so dumb. I'm so mad that just happened. I was like, there's going to be a really cool item or a handy TM over here. <laughs> We're about to be rewarded for carrying a, a Whirlpool user with us past the Whirl Islands. But alas, we were wrong. We're just going to let Kimberly continue to decimate stuff with by, by breathing on it. Just dragon breath it and agility, and we're not afraid of it. We just keep keep breathing. Keep breathing. That's what we say. We're not afraid. And a poly world. We're also not afraid. We're going to give it the zen headbutt. Oh, you want to bring the rain, dude? I mean, I understand. Rain feels good. It was no good for you, though. Oh, not too shabby. You're doing something right if you can beat me. Uh, no thank you. No thank you. You're gonna regret this. I really doubt it. Uh, what I regret is that, uh, we are glitching up a storm here. We're not near any doors. Oh, no. Well, here we are. Route 26. This is a new route. So we can catch something on this route. All right. Hopefully this battle will wreck Dialga's day. And I'm feeling great today. I feel like I could even beat the league champion. <laughs> well, well, do you now? Mighty end. These fishermen, they've fished up some crazy stuff in the past. There's no doubt about that. Uh, this guy is about to get wrecked, though. Because we're just gonna we're just gonna breathe on him, you know? And it's gonna yeah, it does that. That's sort of the damage we're doing. A melodic! A meloetic! A milotic! How do you say it? Let me know. Let me know. Um, we're not, we're not actually really that weak to this at all. So we can just, I think, continue the classic strategy of, oh, it could have like an ice attack. Even so, we have the Achi Berry. So I think we can just go straight here to see what happens. Aqua Tail, okay. Aqua Tail has d killed us several times on this run. That Dragon Breath did not do very much and I did not like it. Let's see how the Zen Headbutt does. It's about the same. Special attack harshly fell, so we're just gonna go with another Zen head, but yeah. Ooh, that is a nice cry. In death, a Growlithe cuts our attack. They are just lowering our stats left and right. They fear Kimberly as they should. Um, but I think we can still just breathe on it, no problem. Oh, and it's paralyzed. Flame wheel, are we gonna get burned again? No, okay, thank goodness. We're getting burned all over today. No! All right, well done. Kimberly, focus with a sharp gaze. Let's see, we are gonna potion because we did take some damage and I don't like that. I don't like having damage on us at all. And I think we're gonna switch our, um, let's switch out to, I mean, it feels like, I mean, Ace is gonna prove it. Uh, we want everyone to get to 40. Let's switch to, let's go Ice, let's go Ice. Ice, you got this, you ready? Ice focus with a sharp gaze. Oh, yes. Come on. All right. We can also, well, actually, if we're going to go in the grass, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to Noel because Noel still has the ability, I believe, to um, block unwanted encounters. So maybe we can get stronger encounters this way and use our Master Ball on something uh, insane. Who knows? The team could get, I doubt the team could get much better, right? What? Huh? Noel's holding something. I mean, he hand it over. Oh, too important to let go. I trust you. I don't need it. I trust you to keep that, whatever it was. All right, Route 26 encounter coming uh, right? Yeah. Here we go. What's it going to be? What's it going to Master Ball material? An Omastar. Oh. Guys, the gods are truly shining down upon us, are they not? It's Lord Helix himself. My goodness, we already have one Pokemon God in our team. Do we need another? I mean, I'm not going to say no. Um, I think we go for the headbutt here. We headbutt. Oh, wow. It flinched. So we can do that a few times. It has got some serious 
defense rock, but that's okay, because we're just trying to whittle it down. And it's flinched twice. Brian, oh, Brian. Oh, but we're just gonna heal that right off. So now I think we're looking pretty good. We're gonna go for the uh, we're gonna go for the netball. Let's go. Come on, Omastar, Lord Helix! One, two. Oh! Almost had. All right, let's go for one more headbutt, and then we have... Yeah, that worked. It flinched again! Netball again. Let's go! Boink. If you guys are unfamiliar with Lord Helix, you should watch any anyone's recap of Twitch Plays Pokemon, because it was an event the likes of which the Pokemon world has yet to see since. It was so funny. I would recommend, in particular, the Jaywitz's recap of it. Very good job. Anyway, give a nickname to the Kaodoma Star. Yes! Let's see. Cheatham. Cheatham to the box. It, it feels like a good blessing having old Lord Helix with us. There's another one, my goodness. They're just like, yes, you're, you're thank, you, thank you for being you. All right, we are gonna switch back now to uh, Ice as the lead. Just get some experience for good old Ice, you know? Oh, this, oh, Agron. All right, well, there's that as well. Uh, I still don't think I wanna fight that thing. I just wanna fight this guy instead. Hi, would you like to battle? Wow, look at all those badges, I'm impressed, but you're not satisfied by just collecting them, right? Well. I'm going to be the champion here in just like one hot second. Don't you worry about it. Um, let's hit this guy with the old, um, with just a literal plume of lava. Oh, I see. You trying to pull the lava plume. Kaboom on the plume. Yeah, one shot, one kill. Ice, literal lava coming out of his arm. Just destroyed that little Tyrogue. It just, it, I mean, it was... It probably didn't look as graphic in person, but that thing was incinerated. Uh, did you think you were lucky to find a place to right? rest? Oh, how lovely. If you don't have a PC, do you? I would love to get my my land shark back. I guess not. Let's fight you. Since you've come this far, you must be good. I'm going to give this battle everything I've got. Well, all right. I kind of a deeper voice than I was expecting, but that's a cool. Lava plume! Oh, just barely, just barely holds on over there. Let's go with the faint attack, which I believe cannot miss. Yeah, heal it back. And the Weedile, wow. Uh, it's impressive of you to get a Weevil up to level 36. Just very impressive indeed, but you're totally screwed. Um, it's not gonna make any difference whatsoever. We get the blue apricorn. Lovely, lovely. Now, oh, what's over here though? This looks like, oh, that looks like a descending route. We go here. By experiencing tough battles, you gain power. All right. If you said another Fion. Okay. We are going to switch here because we don't need to. We don't need to risk it if we don't need to risk it, you know. Let's bring in the ace. You want to bring in like a mythical Pokemon? That's fine. I would have acid armored as well because it's about to get ugly. Unfortunately, I'm a special attacker and that really didn't help. Oh, you're just really going for the. Okay. You're like. Raise my defense, lower your attack. Now I'm invincible, except you've done nothing to affect any of my attacks. Um, I will Dragon Pulse you, Good goodbye, goodbye. So, oh, I'm a champ. Actually, we are gonna switch. <laughs> that's quite a that's quite a change up, but we're gonna go to Kimberly. Um, Ace is only weak to fighting at the moment, so we don't like this at all. We are gonna big time switch to Kimberly, throw our own Intimidate on this guy and resist his fighting type attacks. Um, yeah, now this guy is laughable. We're just gonna fly high in the sky. And then you die! Yes, Kimberly. Kimberly to 42. I think that makes Kimberly the highest on the team. Oh, Agron! There's another one! It's steel ground, right? Not rock? This is a dangerous Pokemon. Uh, I feel like I don't like it. See, this is one of the, it's a very tricky Pokemon because you feel like ice would be very good at fighting it. Well, because of the steel, this is like fire. Our normal answer for steel is fire with ice, but this thing obviously could hit ice for big damage as well. And then there's like Noel is no good against steel. Rutana, I bet this thing doesn't have really high special defenses though, so Rutana is probably good. Ace is probably also good here. 
Let's go ace. Let's get ace some more experience. Iron defense. This guy is all about raising that crazy... This is the second Pokemon they've had use a high defense raising move. We're just going to surf it down. God of Surfing wins again. That lovely surf swept hair. Ace to 38. Booyah. There it is. Love it. You'll love to see it. Could I get your phone number? No, nah, that's all right. That's cool. I don't really... This isn't, this isn't like a long-term relationship we're entering into or anything, dude. All right, cool. Um, it's like a more like a one-time battle. You understand, right? Okay, just... It was weird that you asked. Like, goodbye. Uh, let's go fight this guy. <clears throat> I'm making my final preparations for the Pokemon League. Are you now? Well, let's see. A shuckle! Well, that's just adorable. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, burn it with fire. Yeah, we're going to heal that right off. We're hit by the wrap. You're hit by the burn. You're weaker than ever, and now you're deader than ever. You sad little shuckle. We heal more. A Dodrio! Huh. Dodrio's interesting. We don't really have... Hmm, let's see. Dodrio's hit hard. Um, part of me thinks... I don't... I don't want I they go they're fast and it's again it's like glass cannons. Ice is probably fine, but also we need to play smart. We don't want to just like risk things for the sake of it, right? So let's throw Kimberly out here. Let's throw an intimidate on this thing. Acupressure. What does that do? That sounded scary. I'm gonna go with a fly. What does it do? Let me read it. Special defense sharply rose. Okay, so that actually doesn't affect this fight really at all. Uh, and we are faster. Its special defense is sky high, but we're hitting with physical attacks, so just don't dragon breath it, right? We're just gonna hit it with str Oh, uproar. Okay. Weird. I'm not sure how it went faster than us that time. Maybe we're on a speed tie. Oh, an ivy saw. We know just what to do with you. <laughs> Yeah. Hilariously, it used Sweet Scent, which is supposed to lower our evasiveness, and it missed because we were evading. <laughs> Fool! Let's see. Come on, Ice. We crushing it, yo. We doing it. All right. I lost to a redheaded trainer. He was really strong, but it was as if he had absolutely... If he had... It was as if he absolutely had to win at any cost. I felt sorry for his Pokemon. All right. Well, um... Vespaquin! What a rare Pokemon you have there. Uh, also, Lava Plume. Very hard to get Vespaquin, because you gotta, like, catch the, the female combi. Very difficult. Oh, this guy. You're a bug trainer. I love it. You love it. I love to see it. You know, it's good that you made it this far with a Wurmple and a Vespaquin. I don't want to say probably most of the... I will not give you the phone number. Sorry. Your Pokemon were impressive, but nonetheless. Let's see. Can I... Can, I, can we cross here? Okay. Oh, look. They're like... They finally... I'm going to do this. Ooh, ooh, what's this? A max elixir. That could come in handy. We're going to go down here and go to the rest lady again. Just in case. Why not, right? Why not heal? Yeah, okay. And let me also see this. Because it's possible... We can fly... If we fly to Victory Road, does it bring us right here? It does. Okay. That's good to know because it actually means then we can do this. It means we can leave, which is important because it means we can bring Plant back on, so, which um, Nora did fantastic work and we're very proud of her. But we are also in desperate, you know, we want as much options as possible. Um, you there, you go to box one. Y'all are really cool, but heroes, not quite. Not yet, anyway. And this is, this is you know, a real honor for the, the team members who have put in the effort. Not that we don't have really cool Pokemon, you know. Let's see. Look at all the other awesome Pokemon we have in here. We've got some very solid catches in here. Lot, I'm, I mean, I feel like they've, we've, all, we've spent a lot of time with a lot of different things we've caught in this... Uh, particular run, which is always fun. Uh, now we can have Kimberly fly us back over here. Yeah, here we go. All right. So now watch, watch there be like some sort of whirlpool. Oh, 
This way leads to Mount Silver. You'll see scary strong Pokemon out there. All right. So let's see, Victory Road, you guys. Another catch, which means we're gonna put Noel back here just to, um, you know, maybe we get something crazy. Let's see, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's gonna be our first catch in here? <gasps> A Silcoon! All right, so that's not um, super amazing. I mean, it's not even a Cascoon, which is sort of a bummer. We're gonna give it the old Headbutt. It's gonna give us a Harden. We're gonna go Pokeball. We're gonna go Duskball. I mean, Beautifly, really the lesser of the two bug Pokemon in so many of the two, uh, yeah, Hoenn bugs. But we'll take it. It's level 32. I like bug Pokemon having right, yeah. Let's give it a nickname. Boy, I was really hoping for Victory Road. Maybe we get something a little crazier. I don't know what I'm hoping for at this point because we've already caught, we've already got as crazy as you can get. So there's that, right? Um, I'm gonna go with this. Let's go, uh, Hannah. This is for, let's see, uh, Hannah Rose Walls in the comments. Welcome, Hannah, to the box. Oh, what's this? A Chingling! Um, die. Little Bell. Boy, this cave is uh, thus far not offered up much in the way of Pokemon, eh? Let's see, let's put Rutana out front, just for um, the sake of getting Experience. I don't think there's any trainers in this cave, though, except Celery. Oh, a Toxicroak! We should be safe to fight this. Yeah, just like that. You're dead. Boom. Dead. Ha. Let's see here. Okay, but now, we do need to be ready for the Celery battle, right? That's the thing. I'm sure it's going to be right at the end is when he's going to pop up. And I don't really know how this cave works, so we... It's probably in our best interest not to do too much fighting of stuff um, in the meantime. Because we have, I don't know, because he could have anything. Last time he had Palkia, if you recall, which was um, horrifyingly scary. This thing has such high defense. Um, I don't even know if we need to fight it. Let's just, I'm just gonna run. We'll take easy fights for sure. A Celio? I mean, yeah, we'll take free experience, of course. Let's go. Confusion. Oh, it's confused. It hurt itself. Yeah, this is that worked out very nicely. Oh, you want to bring the hail? Hail team. Yeah, honestly, I must feel like we should just save the confusions, though, right? That seems like the. Oh, gosh. Did I. A Dodrio again? I don't think so. Actually, maybe you're not. Well. It could be. It could, if we're just going to run from lots of stuff, maybe having Rutana out front is not the best, just because something could potentially have Pursuit, which would then hit from double damage. Oh, gosh, there's so many things. Here's what we're going to do we're going to switch Noel out front that way a full heal maybe we run into less stuff oh no not that way yeah this is already working well done noel already running into less things which is helpful because i want to get through this cave i don't think there's any trainers in here at all a max revive well that's just free money isn't it they don't need to uh, worry too much about that. Okay, that rock didn't seem like it needed to be moved, which is unusual. Almost every rock needs to be moved. That looks like we have to descend to the rock. Uh, this looks like going the other direction. I'm going to go up the ladder first. This looks like you got to push a rock down there. But there's no rocks up here, so maybe we go down here. Whee! Okay. Okay. I see. 
you're gonna make me do this again? Okay, watch this puzzle. Y'all ready for this? Ready, big brain puzzle. Whoop. Then we go around the rock. Oh, and we get this. A full restore. That's pretty solid. Go back over here. That's where we're gonna drop down. Do we need a rock or anything? Uh, what's up here? Ultra ball. That looks like the exit right there, which means it's probably also where we're gonna run into. If I had to guess, that's where celery is lurking. Somewhere around there. We don't have rock smash, so we're gonna have to miss out on some of these things. Oh gosh, there's so Oh a Zapdos! Wow! What could have been, am I right? What could have been? Not that we can ask for too terribly much more, I dare say. Right? A mill tank! Oh, what also could have been? Let's see. Right, if we go down here, what happens? We just drop down there. Nothing. Okay, so that's not the way to go. A Bonsley! Man, if imagine running into like a shiny mill tank. Imagine. Imagine! I can't think. Oh, a drift blim. Fun. We're just running from stuff. I really don't want to fight the stuff in here because I want to be as fresh as possible for the um for the celery fight. I don't know what his highest level Pokemon are gonna be. It's I'm thinking probably more than Claire. Oh gosh, this is bad. This looks bad. HP up? Okay. Okay, so we have to go back up here. Oh, now we're in a different spot. Is this the exit right here? Oh gosh, I think it was, right? So let's see, let's prep the team real quick because we might be, we might be there. Part of me thinks just lead with Noel because, well, Kimberly is always such a good lead because we can throw the Intimidate on anything, but Noel is also good because if it's something that has Toxic, we can just do that right away, right? Um, <clears throat> yeah. I like the Intimidate factor, though. Always solid. I mean, they could be a special attacker, but it's almost never a bad thing to throw the Intimidate on whatever it is. <sighs> There's also the possibility we lead with Ace, and we just start wrecking immediately, but I feel like we save Ace as our Ace, if need be. Um, so... Gosh, things could go any which way. I think that's the right. I think that's the right way to go. Is lead with Kimberly. We've got Rutana here. We've got Plant. Um, let's do a quick check in on Plant real quick here. Dragon Claw, Draco Meteor, Sand Attack, Slash. Okay, you've got lots of good coverage for yourself. You got the Confuse Ray and the Smoke Screen. Good annoying moves. We can always Toxic Protect anything we need to. Plus Headbutt. It's a very tried and true strategy for us. We Zen Headbutt, we Zen Wind Butt. Um, we fly high, rain death from the sky. And of course, almost anything we do at all here, Dragon Pulse has the boost from the Dragon Fang. Hyper Voice has a stab boost. Surf, we're the god of surfing. Um, and Earth Power, just good coverage. Okay, okay, that's the team. That's where we're at. I feel like, whew, I feel like we're ready. Let's go, Kimberlina. Oh, what's this? Oh, another Drift Blim. Not that afraid. What's he gonna have? Last time he had Palkia. Is this it? Because that was a really short. Yep, oh God, here we go. Hold it. Are you gonna challenge the Pokemon lead? Vickery Road is at its end for sure. But did you notice? You didn't see any real trainers on the way, did you? Man, they were all spineless. Well, the fact that you've come this far means you're not one of them. But your journey ends here because right here, right now, I will crush you. Here we go, Celery. Bring it, dude. Oh, he's got a full team. It's a full six on six, y'all. And he's leading with Primate. A terrible lead, a fantastic for us because we resist. We throw the Intimidate, we weaken it, and we fly. We fly high. Let's go, Kim. Swagger. Oh, he tried to. He tried to outsmart us. It won't matter. One shot, one kill. Boom. Kimberly for the Wimberly. All right, one down, five to go. Carnivine. Not a great, not a great switch in because you know what? Same thing. We fly high. We rain death from the sky. Yes. Kimberly again. Crushing it, and a Luxray, oh, it's Kilometers, of course. How could we forget? How could we forget the hated Kilometers, his ace Pokemon? He brings it out, do we bring in our ace? Maybe we do, we show him the true pain. 
Okay, we do resist this anyway. We resist Luxray's um, electricity. Oh, that, well, it's neutral because we're also hard flying, which then does that. Let's see. Part of me wants to because we can earth power this thing. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Let's show them the. Let's show the the big guns. Here we go. Oh, he roars it out! Wow! Wow! Did you see that? Immediate fear. Immediate fear. But it kind of works out because then we. <laughs> We can throw the Intimidate back on it, so it just weakened itself. That's all that happened, because now we can just do this again. He's afraid. He's quaking. He was like, ah! Oh, you swagger us. Okay. No big deal. Here's what we're going to do. We'll take the free attack boost, um, but it doesn't actually help us in any way, because... Um, where's the full heal? No status healers. Yeah. Thunderfang. Nothing. Weaker than it was because of the Intimidate from Kimberly. Let's Earth Power. Boom. Oh, wow. It lived. That's unbelievable. Uh, well, we're not going to sit here and deal with your annoying confusion swagger tactics. If you want to sit here and Thunderfang me again, yeah. I can't believe it lived on that. That's insane. Uh, we're just going to Dragon Pulse it. It's dead. It's gone. Man, kilometers, though. Held on. You got you to gotta respect that at the very least. Um, so let's see. I want to say Hyper Voice and Dragon Pulse are going to do about the same here. Torterra. Not a bad Pokemon. Um, we can definitely, actually, let's, let's not make the mistakes we've made in the past, right? We, um, like, just because we have a super strong Pokemon that can probably do the fight doesn't mean there's not better options, right? And so, like, Kimberly throws the Intimidate, and is resists Grass, and, um, uh, well, I'm trying to think if Torterra has, like, Rock Slide or something, so I don't Leech Seed, very powerful move indeed. We're gonna go fly. Run through the fight. So it probably doesn't, because I think if it did, it would have used it. Yeah, fly is so good on Kimberly. It's just wrecking stuff. Well done, Kim. Now we, oh, Scary Face. Now I think we keep old moves. We're already so fast. Give up on Scary Face. You're, you don't have a Scary Face, so I don't even feel like it would work. The Butterfree. The only thing that's annoying is that we're still um, seeded here, so the Leech Seed will continue to do damage. I'm surprised he went with the Butterfree. Um, not that it's gonna knock us out or anything, so we're just gonna fly. It's gonna get a free, uh, oh, not, it might be faster. Oh, it is faster now. So the Tailwind is something to keep in consideration. And the Luminion, oh, he's trying to copy us. Are you see, are you seeing? His, the, the tactics never stop with this guy. He he copies our starter Pokemon. He, he uh, Miles, he has his dumb kilometers and now he saw shiny Nora and was like, I can do that. You're, you know, you're, you're shiny, whatever. Bro, we should, man, wow. Well, I thought he could, when you think he can't sink any lower. Wow, 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 wow. That's all I can say. I'm gonna switch to Nova because I don't like this leech seed, not one bit. Aqua Ring, yeah, not gonna help you, friend. It's time to die. You've been toxic. Your Aqua Ring will... Oh, it did it one turn too late, and now we protect. Captivate, oh, it doesn't help you, and now we flip, now, I guess the Tailwind is still there. We've been going first, we headbutt. Captivate, special attack harshly fell, doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. And we protect. Yeah, Water Pulse doesn't work. You heal, but then you take damage. And then we headbutt. We win, but. Oh, no, we didn't win. But can you imagine? It doesn't matter. You're dead anyway. The Toxic kills you. Your Aqua Ring did nothing. I guess it probably saved it for that very final bit. Celery is defeated. Yes. Oh. Take it, Celery. I see Palkia. 
abandoned you after your last embarrassing loss at the hands of Engberg. I haven't given up becoming the greatest trainer. I'm going to find out why I can't win and become stronger. When I do, I will challenge you. I'll beat you down with all of my power. <laughs> you keep it until then. All right, see ya. I mean, the exit's right here, dude. Woo! The Indigo Plateau! We did it! We have arrived at the Elite for the Ultimate Golf and Trainers Pokemon League HQ. Aw, oh, man, you guys. Let's head inside. Let's see what's up. Oh, it's so nice. Let's give it, let's give it a quick heal. Everyone have a nice heal. Bum, bum, ba -da -dum. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, well, you guys, we have arrived here. We made it through Victory Road. We defeated Celery again, despite his sneaky tactics to try and copy us in every way. It's his only move. Uh, he's thrown everything at us. He threw kilometers. He threw a different Luminion. He threw Palkia at us, and we have prevailed over Big Celery. Always just a curse on everyone's life. Am I right? <sighs> anyway, I think this is where we're going to call it. Next time, we're probably going to have to grind a wee bit. Um, but then we head into the Elite Four. And uh, we'll see if we can take them down. We, man, I'm not sure how we're going to break up said episode. I mean, gosh, this is like, in some ways, this isn't the end because we're going to do Kanto. If we, if we can beat them, then we'll do Kanto. But man, if we... Uh, it's still, they are definitely going to be the hardest trainers we've fought so far. The over 40 rule is going to come into big play. It's very scary, but I'm also kind of excited. I can't believe we're already here. It feels like it's gone so fast. Oh, man. Woo. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much, as always, for uh, watching. Uh, today's video don't forget to leave a like on it if you haven't already it seriously helps out so much you guys are always so good about hitting the like button and i really i really appreciate it so if you haven't yet please do thank you in advance uh subscribe as well uh we're getting we're inching closer and closer one day we will hit 100,000 on this channel that is the goal we're still a ways off we're a ways off but closer and closer all the time I can't, it'd be so cool if we got the silver button for this channel. I, man, it would be dope. So thank you if you're a subscriber. Thank you if you hit the like button. Next time we're taking on the Elite Four. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment so that you might have a Pokemon named after you. But until next time, bye! Hey, before we go, just want to give a shout out to all of our amazing patrons over on Patreon. Abby, Mondin, Adrian, Shishitano, Afropunk, Annalena, Ort. Brad Johnson, Brianna Bouchard, Cheyenne, Dakota Valentine, Dana Guest, Eduardo Bravo, Emerald Phoenix, Gamer Zylia, Gregory Lee, Jacob Rosh, Jade Culture, James Buzanel, Joanna Ashcroft, Karen Choi, The Very Not Lazy, Lacey Nielsen, Lauren Alexandra, Luxpa92, Madison Wolf, Mats Frulis, Momo East, Nicole Cox, Rachel Pierce, Rashiba, Romy Osterheld, Stacy, Yale Ezer, Zane Emerson, and Zero Four. 12. Thank you all so much for your support on Patreon. If you would like to uh, see your name on the wall of things right here, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Thanks again. Spork.